Hey guys, it is Dungeon Master Mark. Just want to do a real quick video. Had a couple of people on Facebook the other day ask me about uh, whether or not I use the critical hit and critical fumble decks and how I feel about using those. So, uh, those of you who follow the channel, you may remember quite a while back I did a video on how to use criticals and why you should use criticals, which is just my personal view. Um, you know, for everything, every super heroic act, you know, there's going to be something equally just bad that's going to happen at some point in the campaign itself, which is why I think it's extremely important to put fumbles in your deck. And I think it's also very important to have critical hits. Um, not so much you don't necessarily have to use them for bad guys, but you want that chance for your players to do something just incredibly awesome. Something just beyond the normal, even for just regular critical. So here's both decks. With me one second, let me make sure the camera is recording. There we go. There's the critical hit artwork and the critical fumble. They both are 52, uh, 52 cards in a set. Um, these normally retail for about uh, anywhere between 10 to 15 dollars, depending on if you can find them on sale. And these are compatible with 3.5 or Pathfinder, and of course, third edition as well, if you need to. And most of them, for the most part, you could probably use for 5th edition as well if you would need to use those. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this one aside for, for right now. We're just going to do just the critical hit first, and I'll show you guys a couple of the cards. So the first thing you'll notice, the, the cards themselves are fairly sturdy, kind of like Magic the Gathering cards. They have a little bit of rounded edge so they don't catch real bad. Artwork is pretty standard, so like I so said, what you'll do is you'll just shuffle them all up, and then you'll have the players pick one. So when you do that, there's going to be different things. So for instance, on this one, the bludgeon damage, you're going to have cracked knee. So the player's going to do normal damage, and then 1d2 one D, one D dex damage. And the target's base land speed is reduced to 10 feet until healed. So you have uh, piercing, or like arrow damage, uh, calf hole, normal damage, and then the target also takes 1d4 dex damage. You have slashing, which is ugly wound. Um, the target's going to take normal damage and 1d3 charisma damage and 1d3 charisma drain fortitude is going to negate the drain so the gm can kind of base that off the attack roll and then you also have a spell one which for the side effect double damage and you become invisible for 1d4 rounds so each one is going to give you a variation of different types of effects like i said there's a lot of different ones each single card i believe is different on each single one so, for instance, this one, the Power Surge for the spell is going to do triple damage. Um, slashing, normal damage, and 1d6 damage. Guarded Strike, guard, uh, double damage, and plus 4 to your AC for one round. Rattled, you do normal damage, and target is confused for 1d3 round, which definitely fits with, you know, getting hit in the head really, really hard. So, yeah, like I said, these are the critical hit, critical hit deck cards. I can't talk today. Blech. But uh, like I said, 52 cards all together, so lots of variation on what can happen if your players get a crit. Then of course we have the Critical Fumble, which I love these. Most of these aren't quite as horrible as the Critical Hits. But some of them can be a little... a little uh, bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one here. I shuffled these up. So the first one is your sword is heavy and you are fatigued for a fumble, and that's for a, a melee. Now these are gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be melee, range, natural, and magic. So um, the range, reroll attack against creature nearest the target, yourself excluded. So even if that is someone on your own team, it is possible you might hit someone on your own team for a fumble. Uh, for a natural attack. Um, you take minus two to your AC for 1d4 rounds. Basically, you throw yourself kind of off guard. And for a spell, Bleeding Eyes, you take 1d6 points of bleed. So, let's go ahead and go to the next one here. And for the next fumble one, we've got, for a melee attack of vibration, if you're using a bludgeon weapon, you take 1d3, 1D3 points of strength damage and you drop your weapon. Uh, for the range is recoil, you move backwards one square and fall prone. Basically, you've thrown yourself off balance, you fall down. Uh, for a natural weapon, natural weapon punctured foot, you take 1d3 points of damage and your speed is halved until healed. 
and magic is weak minded fool you take one point of wisdom bleed damage so like I said overall not not uh, I wouldn't say not as bad as some of the attack cards or I should say for the for the critical hit cards but like I said a nice selection for GMs to use um, like I said the artwork themselves is pretty good the standards of the cards very very well made cards so you don't have to worry about people uh, you know trashing them like I said I've used these ones for quite a while and you'll see after four years of using you know there's a couple little nicks here and there but uh, like I said it's not something you're going to use quite that often but it does add an, a nice effect um, for a set of both of these you can normally pick them up for maybe about twenty dollars or so um, if that is too expensive for you I have seen online there's a couple links where different websites you can go to where to have like a, a 1 through 20 roll for critical hits and fumbles. You can definitely always Google something. But definitely something to look for to use in your campaign. That way you can add just a little bit more spice to your game. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and you all have a happy game. Bye bye.